All right. Ugh. How many wipes? I don't know. When I see smoke, I'll stop. God. Why can't you just wipe yourself? Because it's gross. Yeah, it is gross. Ugh. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a dad. My wife had to go out of town for the weekend for her college reunion, and I had to watch both kids by myself. And I don't think she had much faith in me. It's all on the board, okay? I'm serious. This needs to get done today. I got it. I used to watch Jake every day before he was in daycare, remember? I remember when you almost dropped him from your shoulder because you were multitasking. Seriously? Come on. I made like a diving grab. It was unbelievable. Don't do that. Please. This was the first time I was taking care of both my kids by myself. I mean, it's really hard for me to focus on being a parent sometimes, because my career is just always on my mind. Okay, and please, no multitasking this weekend. You don't have any gigs. You said you have no work to do, so 100% focus on the kids. Right, no distractions. I got it. Okay, totally focused. Call me Sea Biscuit. <laughs> okay, Sea Biscuit. All right, I love, love you. Me too. Okay. All right. Do me a favor, no slow dancing. What? Where did that come from? I don't know. You're gonna be around all those smart people. It's a reunion. It's not a junior prom. Okay. Have fun. My six-year-old gets excited about a lot of things. And as a parent, you gotta care about all those things. All 9,000 of them. Dad, look at this acorn. Oh, wow. That's a really cool acorn. What kind of tree do you think that came from? Dad, look at this dinosaur tail. Yeah, that really is a dinosaur tail. Yep. Dad, look at this bug. Yeah, that's a bug. Dad, look at my sock. Yeah, sock. I never knew how much acting was involved in being a parent. Isn't that a cool cloud? Yep, that's a cool cloud. Do you really think it's a cool cloud, Dad? I think I could win an Oscar for some of my performances. You know, actually, I think it's the most beautiful cloud I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it is. Nailed it! Oh, I am good. Hello? Hey. You need someone open for Artie tonight? <sighs> yeah, I got both kids tonight. Pays 2, bucks. How much? 2, wow, yeah, I could use that. I need the money. Yeah, I'll do it. Sure? I'll do it. I'll make it happen. Great. All right, thank you. you. All right, I got to get you a babysitter tonight, all right? But you gotta do me a favor. You cannot tell mom. If you tell mom, I'm taking away the iPad for like two weeks. Cool. I could have tried to get my mother-in-law to babysit for me, but I promised Steph that I wouldn't work. Plus, I know Steph's mom would rat. We need the money. I mean, we overspent when we moved into our new house. You guys understand, right? Then I remembered the to-do list. How the fuck was I gonna get all that done before the gig? Jake, what are you doing? You're just standing there. We gotta get in the car. I'm in a hurry. Can you carry me? Why? I don't want to get the bottom of my shoes dirty. <sighs> I'd be kidding me. Fine. Here. What are you gonna do for the rest of the day? Get a hovercraft? A what? Forget it. It was crunch time. Goodfellas style. 
had to bring Jake to Taekwondo at 345, and I had to make sure that I brought his Taekwondo uniform this time. I had to bring the stroller for Sophie because I'm too old for the double carry. Then I had to pick up Sophie's medicine from the pharmacy, and not the close one, but the one on the other side of the highway. Then pick up Sophie from daycare at 445. Then pick up diapers, not the regular ones, but the natural, so she'll get a rash. It's a small town, so I had to be on the lookout for my mother-in-law. If she saw me rushing around, she might ask questions. Then I had to buy the sauce and the meat for the spaghetti and meatballs. My wife only feeds them organic, so I had to go two towns over to the healthy supermarket. That third seatbelt click of the car seat, that's the greatest sound in my day. Then I had to pick up Steph's dry cleaning and go to the mall to get Jake some new sneakers, but they had to be the light up kind. Found a babysitter, but I had to pick her up because she only has a learner's permit. I had them all working in the kitchen like an assembly line, but I had to make the meatballs myself. My kids are so picky that if they're not perfectly round, they won't eat them. If they don't eat, they don't sleep. And if they don't sleep, daddy's miserable. I got out of the house without a minute to spare. Hey, Joe. Where are you headed? For a second, I thought it was my wife, and she came back a day early. But then I recognized that happy voice, and I knew it was my mother-in-law. If it was my wife, I would have been dead. I almost got away with it. But I ended up telling Steph that I did the gig. I mean, I didn't want to hide it from her. And I had the rest of the weekend to spend with the kids. And you know what? I did a great job. No catastrophes. Everything went smooth. You know, it really made me appreciate how much my wife has to deal with when I go out of town. It is not easy. How do you guys deal with balancing the parenting duties? I would love to know. Yeah.